What's up? Sonny James, Artist Relations Manager here at Serato. There are many ways to maximize the various features available in Serato DJ Pro. I use a lot of these functions in all types of DJ scenarios, but one feature that has become crucial to me is the use of effects. Effects are great for adding color and sonic emotion to a mix and can help create even smoother transitions. Serato DJ Pro has a large number of great DJ effects to utilize and all of them have been carefully crafted directly by our product and development teams here at Serato. Some of the effects that come built into Serato DJ Pro now include several types of echoes and delays, epic reverbs, modulation, and much more. To see the full list of effects, you can click on the drop-down list here, which is now broken up into categories. If you find the full list of options a bit overwhelming, you can utilize the Favorites List feature. Here in the Effects tab in Settings, you can choose only the effects you'd like to show up in the program. Perhaps you only want the version echo, combo filter, repeater, and breaker to be shown. Simply add them to your favorite effects list, which you can see in the right column, and be sure to tick the box here that says Use Favorite Effects List. And when we go back to the Effects option on screen, the drop-down menu will only show the favorites we've selected in Settings. Note that the effects categories previously shown have been removed for favorites, but you can arrange this condensed list in any order you choose. Once you have a set of effects you're comfortable with using, you can save up to four banks and switch between them by clicking A, B, C, or D. You can use DJ effects in either Serato Play Mode with just your laptop or while being connected to DJ hardware. Effects can be assigned to a playing deck inside of Serato DJ Pro. On the screen above the left deck is the effects panel. When you click it, the effects panel will drop beneath your playing decks. There are three effects view modes available in Serato DJ Pro, which are Slim, Default, and Advanced View. To change the view, simply click here and also here. The Advanced View mode is available if you own an effects pack, expansions, or a Serato DJ Suite license or subscription. Today, I'll be using the Pioneer DJ DDJ Ref 5 controller. You'll see you can select up to three effects per unit and adjust one parameter for effect depth. This is also sometimes referred to as a wet and dry knob. Selecting multiple effects at once on the controller can easily be done by holding down an effect while tapping the next one like this. To engage the effect or effects you've selected, simply pull down the effects paddle on the playing channel for temporary effects, or if you'd like the effects to be continuous, simply push the paddle up to hold mode. When you're ready for the effects to end, pull the paddle back down to the center position. If you have a Serato DJ Suite license, you can go deeper into customizing effects. To access this, make sure you're in the advanced view mode. You'll get access to some advanced parameters to tweak your effects just the way you like them. For example, on the slow rollout, I can adjust echo, feedback, filter, roll, and beat modify. Then when I switch to vast reverb, my adjustable options change to decay, contour, width, and mix mode. Each effect will have its own set of parameter options to tweak to your liking. Once you have an effect just the way you like it, you can click save here and name it for future usage. Once you name and save an effects preset, they'll show up in the main effects drop-down menu under users. You can do this for as many effects as you like. And remember, if you set this as a favorite effect, you'll be able to get faster access to them. Another cool feature with Serato FX is the Channel Effects section. For controllers and mixers without built-in hardware effects, you can now access and assign up to four different channel effects to the filter knobs. This is also available for use with Serato Play. Enjoy using these knobs for filters and newly added options such as dub echo, reverb, and noise. These are useful in many ways depending on the style of music you're playing and the kind of energy you want to convey in a mix, especially during transitions. For instance, I love using dub echo to signal to my audience that I'm changing music directions or tempo. There are many ways to use combinations of effects to keep your audience engaged in your DJ sets. I always recommend taking some time to explore each effect and its parameters during your downtime so you can fully understand what each effect does in the mix. This can be helpful for finding a sound that will help you stand out from the rest. For more information about our effects or other features available in Serato DJ Pro, be sure to visit serato.com. See you soon.